What's going on guys, this is Nathan or OBVG and before we start off with today's daily video and what it's about I just want to say um, thank you for all the views on yesterday's video I'm currently sitting at around between 230 to 240 which is a huge amount in consideration that when I logged off uh, around 2 o'clock or 1 o'clock in the morning yesterday um, I only had around 70 so that video is boosted overnight I mean there's a whole range of videos um, on the same thing and you know my videos managed to hit front page um, it's not as large as I'm used to in consideration with the tutorials that I did but I think that's in the past you know to be positive I'm glad that I've made a video after a month of not making videos and I've got 200 and some views it's boosted my the total daily views count etc it all helps basically um, and, that, and that's pretty much it so for today's video what we're going to be doing is installing the advanced mob version 1.1 1 .1, uh, which that's what the forum name is although the latest version um, is 1.4 um, although this forum somewhat confusing the money says 1.3 I, I, I don't know but yeah I'll give you a link directly to this page uh, which of course you'll need to come across to to actually sustain the mod now before I continue uh, I just want to say I've already installed too many items and single player commands and tested my game so it works um, those mods aren't required for this mod to work however if you know at the bottom just above the pictures here it says requires mod loader now this forum is a little bit confusing in that it says version 1.3 download when I first read this I thought that this was a link to mod loader um, although it's not it's an actual link to the mod so it's it's not how I do things but okay so all you'll need to do like I say is come over to this link link in description scroll down to the bottom here it says download click download and it'll take you over to media file as you can see in the link and here we are click download sorry for the rain in the background if you can hear anything I'm not a weatherman so not particularly the greatest time to forecast a video and then open up the downloaded folder if you haven't got this software, it's called WinRAR, you'll need this. Um, you pretty much need it for most uh, mod installations these days. Um, we'll just minimize this. And then we'll go ahead and press start. Type in run. Percentage sign update to percentage as per usual. And then open .minecraft bin. And then right click open with WinRAR. Now, of course, if you haven't got WinRAR, uh, then you won't be able to do that, and there is no other way, as far as I'm aware. Um, so, you'll, you'll need this. I'll give you a link in the description also. Um, okay, so on the left, we've got our Minecraft.jar, and on the right, we've got the mod itself. All you'll need to do is highlight all the, the files, drag it across, click OK, sort it. The mod's installed. However, we do need mod loader, so I'm going to leave this attached to the left here reopen my browser and access this page now i realized that this isn't the minecraft forums and i apologize for that uh, but i couldn't find it on the minecraft forums so i'm going to give you a link to this website um, i don't usually give website links with all the ads and stuff around i don't particularly like my viewers to have to do this but you know um, so then you can see they've got a tutorial here if for whatever reason you want to watch that one uh, and also typed out versions here but the link you'll need at the bottom is click here to download it's blue and when you go over it's black just click that and then you'll see it here mine says 8 because there's so many times I've downloaded it and minimize my web browser there and again attach this to the right I've downloaded it 8 times because of the sheer amount of mods that I've installed all you need to do is highlight all the class files drag it across click OK oh, and that's done and that's pretty much it for the mod installation uh, so now I'm just gonna go over to the game side of things as per usual and show you what this mod actually includes um, and basically walk you through the, the features of the mod okay welcome back so now we're at the game stage we've installed the mod we've installed mod doda and like i said i've installed too many items and single player commands which aren't required however it just makes life easier for for demonstrating this video and also i prefer to play the game with these mods uh anyway um so what you need to do is of course load up minecraft 
Um, if you've got any black screen issues, if the game doesn't load, uh, then force update and retry the whole, tu whole tutorial. If you've watched this video more than twice and it still doesn't work, then drop a comment and I'll try and help as much as I can. So, create new world, change the grey mode to creative, more world options, super flat, I don't care about the name or the seed at this time. Uh, and then, of course it loads, I'll just leave it to render for a bit. And then we've got, if I just close too many items actually, I just thought I can use this menu here. Uh, I'm just going to throw away some of these things. I actually don't like this, this bar at the bottom at all. I think it should be empty when you spawn, but you know. So what do I want? A zombie, um, a zombie pigman, and what else should we try? skeleton okay so we've got skeleton pig, zombie pigman and zombie now i'm in creative so of course all i need to do is right click and oh if i turn my sound down so it's not affecting you um of course you know they're gonna burn in daylight but as you can see um they've got iron pants on which is basically the whole thing you know this one's got swords as well um i think the whole idea behind this mod is to to make the game somewhat more enjoyable and harder to defeat you know we've got the new ai mob system now that enables them to walk around walls so i think this mod in a let's play um would be super beneficial and um would, would make the game a whole lot harder and more interesting that one do these actually have there we go so this one's got armor on. uh, and of course if i just keep spawning mobs here you can see they've got armor on. now i was going to read the full list of updates that this this mod includes and what it's done since development but the heck there's, the, there's, there's like there's four versions and there's a heck of a lot of updates there's too much to read out so if you just use the forum link in the description you can if, you, if you're that interested you can read through um a whole list of updates that the mod makers pull there uh, but that's it from me, you know, I just wanted to demonstrate in the game side that, that it was working and it is fun. So that's it from me, I hope you enjoyed. Um, just a quick note, I'm not sure if there's going to be a second video today, over the past two days there's been two videos each day. Um, this might be it, I'm not sure, it depends what content or what I feel like doing later. Uh, and the reason behind releasing this video later is because I want to try and hit more of an audience that are just coming out of work and or school. Um, it's releasing at one o'clock. Most people are at work, you know, so yeah, that's pretty much it from me. I hope you enjoyed any comments, you know, feel free to leave a, you know, subscribe, rate, like, comment, all, all that good stuff. So that's, that's it. Thanks for watching.